Shalom, Namaste, Konnichiwa. I'm representing the Asian community. We are staunch allies of this cause. This is a very busy time for me. As you may know, the Olympics are in progress, and I happen to be the motivational expert for the Olympic Games. But when I was told about this event, it automatically went right up to the top of my priority list, because all of us must be engaged in this very noble endeavor. <laughs> Furthermore, when I heard that there were Jewish people, my brothers and sisters in the community, who were shy and reluctant of wearing symbols of their identity, I decided to proudly wear a symbol of mine. This is a samurai Buddhist hakama, and it's the code of the Bushido it represents. And I wear this with pride, pride in my culture and my ancestors, and I ask you to please wear symbols of your Jewish identity with pride in your culture, in your heritage, in what you stand for. Anti-Semitism and Jew hatred is a pandemic. And just like the COVID pandemic, it has variants. And these variants are racism, colonialism, Islamophobia, xenophobia, bigotry. We have to tackle this pandemic together, collectively. That's what we've been learning over the last little while. Now, one of the reasons that anti-Semitism has been escalating is because certain people think they are justified due to their political convictions. I want to emphatically enunciate as clearly as I can. No, there is no justification for anti-Semitism or Jew hatred, period. A simple example. Let's just say you're not happy with the way China dealt with, the Chinese government dealt with the COVID virus. It does not give you the right to go and attack Asians in the street and foster anti-Asian hate. And that severely impacts my community, so I echo your sentiments. Let's just say you're not happy with the fact that the United States chose Donald Trump to lead the free world. It does not give you the right to hate on our American brothers and sisters. And similarly, no matter which side of the debate you are on, and no matter what your opinion is of the Middle East peace talks, there is never a justification for you to, cook, to use that to foster anti-Semitism and engage in Jew hatred. Now, this was a, there was a very important incident in history where this theme was exemplified. When Hitler was going on his extremely evil mission of persecuting and exterminating Jews, Japan stood up to Hitler and said, whatever political alliance we have, we do not condone Jew hatred and anti-Semitism. And therefore, the Japanese government issued thousands of visas to the Jewish people to give them safe passage. And that translated into saving hundreds of thousands of Jewish lives and the preservation of the iconic Mir Yeshiva. The Japanese diplomat Senpo Sugihara was even awarded the very high title of Righteous Among the Nations by the Israeli government. And in Toronto, when they held a Righteous Among the Nations ceremony, I was very blessed to be invited to represent that samurai culture that, that is always there to support you guys and defend you. In conclusion, I'd like to quickly just give a shout out to Andrea, to Anita, to Shirley, and all those who've organized this. A few years ago, I was blessed to organize and lead the first multi-faith commemoration of the Holocaust. This was in association with the Simon Wiesenthal Center, and I dreamed that this would continue. And to see here, we have these like-minded visionaries who are continuing this extraordinary, extraordinary effort and engaging all of us in the community is truly extraordinary. Can, can, can we give them a very big hand, please? <laughs> and
And to end on a simple note of my own culture that I'd like to share with you. This particular hakama, it stands for the code of Bushido, which is a samurai code of honor. And each pleat represents a virtue. Now, I may be uniquely authorized to represent the culture and tradition of the samurai, but everyone here can, can understand the qualities and the virtues that are universal. And the two main ones I want to talk about, courage and compassion. We need to have compassion for the Jewish people so that we can tell you clearly, we feel your pain. We hear your cries and we tear up when you do. We truly want to help and alleviate your suffering. And in that context, we want to go beyond lip service. We want to go beyond virtue signaling. We absolutely call on the Canadian government and governments around the world to do whatever is necessary to ensure that, the, 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 that Jew hatred can be exterminated and that all the perpetrators can be brought to book. And the other quality is courage. The courage to stand up to the bully, to stand up to the anti-Semites, to stand up to the Jew haters and say, you've got to go through us before you get to them. Back off. And the message to all the Jewish people, you are not alone. Every time they bully you, we will stand up to defend you. Every time they have the audacity to desecrate a synagogue, we will have the compassion to go and clean it up. Every time they spread false narratives about you online or in any platform or forum, we will be there to challenge them, to correct them. We feel your pain, we hear your cries, we echo your refrain, never again. <laughs>